Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to today's talk. And today, I wanted to whisper to you what is happening in Kenya after the recent political changes. You know what, people? Since I was born in this country, <laughs> since I was born on this continent, I found people fighting. Guns and missiles, bombs flying across the skies the whole night, the whole day. People lived in the bushes. For decades, people fought in Africa. I never expected it would look like this. I was expecting the worst. I was expecting something bad. Probably something worse than what happened in the Hiroshima and Nagasaki in the Second World War. I never knew peace on this continent. I've never heard of anyone who knew anything about peace, living in peace, bringing this people together to live together and work towards the good of the entire community so there was no peace I didn't find any peace in Africa so when these people started talking about uh, changing the political system in our country the first thing that came to my mind was what another civil war something that like what was happening in uganda and something like what is happening in somalia rwanda angola and uh, the congo and everywhere on this continent there was civil strife so now here comes somebody in nairobi martin shikuku the lawyer Orengo and the others who are involved, <laughs> the others who led the people of this country against the olden system of politics, telling me to go and speak against the then ruling party and then the then ruling the leaders of that time. They're telling me to go and stand on the road and talk. To the people against the the government against those who are in power those who had the guns in their hands speaking and talking against them barehanded it didn't look to me like it would be possible i didn't expect this thing to be possible sincerely speaking i didn't expect the political changes in kenya to happen smoothly and peacefully the way they happened I was expecting something bad, probably something like doomsday, the end of the world. Because I myself, on my side, I wasn't even ready to go and sit on a table with someone talking about something like that. Because I didn't expect, or I didn't, I didn't trust any one of the leaders. Any one of the political scientists? No. The lawyers? No. I didn't. Neither did I expect them to respect me or to trust me or to. <laughs> I didn't expect anything of that kind to happen in this country. So now, then came the changes, then it has happened, and now it turned out to be a federal kind of government in this country I never <laughs> you see that I didn't expect the federal system to work in Kenya I didn't just because of the what I found happening within the boundaries of this country and the continent I never expected this thing to happen the way it is because first, the federal government would have split the people along tribal lines in the name of what? A state. 
and that would have caused the differences in the cultural backgrounds, political backgrounds, and everything whereby everybody was going back to the, to the traditional ways of life, traditional ways of politics, traditional ways of reasoning, and the traditional way that they saw the religious and all other spheres of life, you see that. And you don't expect them to go and sacrifice that because of the other, the other side, the people across the boundaries. And they wouldn't also be ready to allow them to interfere with their own ways of life within their boundaries. I never expected this thing, I never expected these people would sit together around the table and make a life for this country where these people would live together and work together as one nation like this, the way they are doing. I never trusted this. I never expected it would happen like this. I thought that it would, it always must have to be one party or one organization or one group of people to rule against all the tribes. See that? Now there is multi-party. If you wake up tomorrow and you want your own party, you just go to the registrar of the political parties and groupings and you have your party what? Listed. And you go on with what you want. You wanted to start a new religion, you just go to the ministry or department that is concerned and you have your staff registered and uh, you are told what to do. And tomorrow you are worshipping your own thing. You wanted to worship the sun, the tree, you wanted to worship the blue gum the gum trees, the cypress, <laughs> or you wanted to, <laughs> wanted to worship the guava trees or the rocks, the rivers. <laughs> you just go on and provide that you didn't interfere with the other people's what? Other people's lives and privacies and properties. But now, it turned out to be the opposite. You see that? People are living together, doing this life, commerce, sharing commerce, the same market, doing all this, and people doing these things. And uh, it is really a miracle. It is a miracle. We didn't expect this. And uh, <laughs> these little, we managed to conquer these little divisions, these little reasons that divide mankind into what? Into different groupings and different cultural and uh, religious backgrounds others worship cattle others worship elephants others worship lions others worship pythons and others worship mountains but they have managed to sit together together on the what on um the same table and now we can discuss and run our parliaments like or as one people. It's really unbelievable. And uh, I don't know if the president is, is, is dictating or somebody somewhere di dictated this thing at gunpoint to happen. I don't really know because I am lawyer and I come from a Bukolo village up um, in, uh, in Vihiga County, Luanda Division. And I was not... I cannot know what is happening in Nairobi or in Taita Taveta or in Turkana or Marsabit or Lamu or down Namanga. See that in Taita, Taita County. I was not expecting anything of this kind, but uh, it's really a miracle and uh, it is still in the early stages of uh, early stages of it and uh, I hope that whatever happened did not split the people again along tribal lines like what used to happen in Uganda, UPC and uh, other parties in Kenya Kanu and other, <laughs> other, <laughs> other smaller parties and in Somalia the same which ended up in uh, actually it wasn't democracy or it wasn't civilization at all. 
it was just splitting the people along what tribal lines and hindering human development and uh, obstructing them towards civilization and it held them and drew them back into ethnicity which always ended in the reasoning of our great great grandfathers those who brought us into this world whereby they used to solve their problem political religious and everything in their lives by fighting when people met anywhere in a bush or any other places they would automatically enter into a fight and fight until one man dominated the other or <laughs> that's how I decided it who was going to rule the community who was going to rule the villages and who was going to rule the what the empire and that is how we did it and we fought and fought and fought and slaughtered each other like chicken and people died they were, when you think Europe was the, a better place history will, will tell you no the Europeans died more than the Africans, the lawyers see that? Europeans died the days of Caesar the days of King Nebu Nebuchadnezzar the days of uh, Bin Batuta in Arabia the days of the all the ancient kings everywhere on the, on the continents on this planet people fought and decided who would own the power by doing what by fighting others killed each other and others were just a matter of wrestling and if you were war you were beaten <laughs> you have to take a second place to the guy, the, 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 the guy who knew how to do it, to twist others' arms and do what? Throw them down. That's how it all happened. And uh, uh, I was expecting anything much beyond that during the political changes that came to the, this country. But mysteriously, it happened positively. Sincerely speaking, listeners, what is happening is a miracle, and I hope that it didn't split the people again, because in this world, we shall never go back to primitivism. The world is marching forward to our civilization. The world is becoming one city, one village, one economy, one civilization, one everything. In the end, even religion will become what? One religion and one way of life, one everything. The world, the globe is becoming one place. You touch a button and you buy something from the Amazon in the US, it is delivered in Africa and Nairobi before midday you make an order at 7 or 8 in the morning it is delivered in Nairobi before midday you see that that's how the world is you want money in America you just you just tap a button or talk to your bank and it is delivered within an hour or less see that civilization will never we shall never go back to what we were in those days so everything that we do should work towards that direction and i hope what we did in kenya is not the opposite i hope we did not kill mankind you see that i hope what we call the constitution <laughs> is not another tool for all holding the poor and the meek down to be ruled by those who are lucky to get money before the others you see that it is not it will not be used against mankind to hold them down for the benefit or for the gain or for the interest of the minority the few who manage to do what get money before the others see that
it will not be used against mankind to direct and manipulate, manipulate the economy for the gain of the few rich people that we have on this planet. We want it to provide services in all spheres of life and to monitor, to make sure that mankind lives in justice and in harmony with the environment no matter what it looks like, no matter what their life status is, no matter what crippled or uh, talented in any way, mankind is the same. You need porridge, you need water, you need uh, security, you need uh, money, you need everything and it should be possible for everyone to acquire money and to do whatever they want in their life freely 360 degrees unhindered by anything the environment or any human being any particular human being among the what among us so we weren't expecting <laughs> we are not expecting <laughs> this to be possible but if it doesn't work like that then you should hurry to get another system of politics in place to save us from the what? The calamity. See that? Because me, I was expecting us to create one, one council that will be represented that uh, the various groupings, communities that we came from, our origins, would be able to, to will be represented by a, a chief or by a, a member of the community that they will choose and then we have the country held together by one council but uh, they chose on uh, federalism and federalism rules federalism reigns and uh, we are living up to now, I get my piece of bread daily, I get money, I get recreation, I do everything, I play, I, I talk and speak at anything that I want. But I hope that I wasn't fooled, and I hope it did not what, it did not turn to be anything bad in the future. We are growing. Perhaps when we'll get the riches or when we'll get power in the future, it will turn out, it'll turn us against each other. The money, see that? The money, the pride, we become too proud to do what? To be controlled. And you start, you start speaking, um, you start speaking environment environmentally harmful talk you see that talk that will trigger other people's angers other people's ad adrenaline and we might end up well <laughs> in what we used to look like in the past and uh, that is how it is really we weren't expecting Kenya to be, or Africa to look like what it is now. And uh, we pray that, we pray that it all goes well for Africa. I don't know about the other continents in the world, America, Europe, South America, Asia, Arabia. I don't know what it looks like in their homes, in their places, but this world, the slaughter, should come to an end. See that? The slaughter that used to exist in the days of Julius Caesar, the slaughter that used to exist in the days of the Pharaoh, and the slaughter that used to exist in the days of the Shaka, the Zulu in South Africa, should do what? Should never happen again. See that the kind of rule where people used to rule each other by stealing terror to others, causing them to fear the whole day. You live like a, a like chicken in a pan. You see that 
the village elder is watching at you like cattle and goats and sheep, not a human being. See that? You are too valuable and you are too... See that you are God's power, the image of God. It is bad if somebody came following you, they weep the whole day, the whole night, weeping you, telling you to do what to do and what to do. You should know and decide for yourself what to do and what not to do. And not someone to come whipping your ass. You see that? So we are advanced and we are developed. We are civilized. And uh, I know about the Filipinos. And the Filipinos know about the lawyers. You know what anger the Filipinos? You know what anger the, the Punjabi? The, 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 everyone. We know each other. And we are human beings. We should not go living like animals anymore. May the gods and may the person who created the universe, everything that brought the universe into existence, help and direct us in the right direction so that we don't go back to what we used to be in the past. That's all I hear today, listeners. See you next time when I get something to whisper about. Thank you and goodbye. Oh, I'm in the studio. Stop. 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 Stop.